Hi everybody and welcome to our 8th Algorithm in Internal Medicine. I greet you in the awesome name of Jesus. Today we are breaking down our third phacomatosis, which is called Sturge-Weber Syndrome. You know, the other day I was thinking of a color which doesn't exist. Then I realized it was all probably a pigment of my imagination. <laughs> and why do women in general have cleaner minds than men? Because they change theirs so often. <laughs> okay, anyway, guys, I'm on the mic with today's uh, Sturge, as in Sturge, then Weber syndrome. So S stands for seizures, which is normally focal, and so it affects one side of the body, typically, although not invariably. T stands for traumatic calcification. U stands for these uh, upper limb port wine stains, which are ipsilateral to the side that has the fit, and weakness is usually contralateral to the port wine stain. R stands for retardation, so these patients have suboptimal IQs. G is for glaucoma, and E is for epilepsy. So these are clinical features of Sturge-Weber syndrome. Again, focal seizures, so that's the S. T is for traumatic calcification. U is for upper limb port wine stains, ipsilateral to the side that has a seizure, and weakness contralateral. R is for retardation. G is for glaucoma. E is for epilepsy. A big thank you to everybody who's been liking and sharing and subscribing to my videos. I greatly appreciate you and I hope this stuff is helpful um, in equipping us to become better physicians. God bless you and have a wonderful day ahead. I'll see you tomorrow with another handy mnemonic in internal medicine. God bless you.